We'll call the meeting to order. It's six o'clock. First on the agenda. Are there any changes or additions, Dan? No. Okay. Next is to approve the minutes. Approve the minutes of June 15th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? On number six, the second page. Um, there's a motion made. That there was no second. Did it need to be? I think Judy second that. Put that down, Erica. Uh, yeah. Do you know who seconded it? I think it's Judy. Judy, okay. She's on the phone, so I'm asking. Judy, can you hear us? Yes, I. I what, what do you think I seconded? Uh, there's a uh, number six on okay. the previous agenda. Brian made the motion, and I believe you seconded it for the That's con. That's fine with me. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. <clears throat> Next, community concerns. Do we have any community concerns tonight? We've got a full meeting. All right, we'll move on to liquor control. <clears throat> Nothing's there? Great. All right, new business. First is Morristown Cemetery, the Sexton contract, possible executive session. How do we want to do that? Well, for those who might not know, I'm Dennis Smith, president of the Morrisville Cemetery Association. Uh, tonight, Jane Payne, our secretary, is here. My wife, Lorinda, Shereen Lafay, are also members. Uh, we did have other things on the agenda, but we were told that. Uh, it's going to be quite a long meeting, so we have cut down. I only want to mention uh, we would like to discuss the mowing, but since uh, apparently there is no contract, we don't even know what's going on, so we won't bother with that. Uh, I would ask you, as time allows, to consider the problems concerning the driveway and traffic flow at Mountain View Cemetery. I think you all should have received pictures I sent you with an email. We did. Um, if you could look at that as time allows. Before I start tonight, um, I would like to refer to a memo from the Administrative Coordinator, October 1st, 2004. This had to do with the topic of the evening, which is the sex service contract. And one uh, comment that was made from the town administrator to the board was the town needs to take on some responsibility, not just cheerleaders for the group. That hasn't worked. And here it is 16 years later, and that fits perfectly. Um, as far as the executive session, if you were discussing the performance of a dump truck operator, would you do it in open session? No, we couldn't do that. Okay, then I would ask if we could go into executive session. Okay. We can. <clears throat> Want to make a motion? Can I make a motion that we go into executive session? Oh, hang on. I need the, uh, the cheat sheet. Go yeah. The statue. Uh, cheat sheet. Yeah. Thank you very much. How does that work for those of us on the phone? Do we call back? We're going to put you on mute. We're going to mute the, the meeting. And then okay. the session is going to the phone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's on my phone. She's on my phone. Yeah. Okay. 
right, uh, find the premature general public knowledge. That doesn't exist. This is in the contractual agreement. It's not, it doesn't talk to the employee. Part. But you need to have sort of contractual agreement. Yeah. All right. Motion uh, to find the premature general public knowledge of contractual agreements to clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage by disposing its negotiation strategy. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? I make a motion to enter executive session to discuss the town's contractual agreements under the provisions of Title I, Section 313A1 of the Law Statutes, to include Dan Lindley and the, the board from the Sanitary Association, which will include all folks that are here. Right? Almost do we need to name them individually or Eric? You should. Yeah. You should. Sarah. 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 All right. We would request Sarah say. Yeah, I would like to see Sarah. Sarah's involved. Sarah, Shri, Dennis. What's his name? I forgot your first name. And who else? Uh, Jane Payne, Brent Payne. Anybody else from the Cemetery Association? I don't think so. Well, do we have a second? Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We are now entering executive session. We'll have you guys come back. Hopefully it won't be too long. Okay, we're we're back on the phone. Okay. Motion to come back. Yes. Make a motion to come out of executive session. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're back in the regular story. Thank you all. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Sorry about that, folks. Local government. Usually it doesn't happen in the middle of a meeting like that, but kind of couldn't be avoided. Okay. Bye. All right, we'll move to number two. Approve the application for private road name, Anderson Lane, Dinky Drive Lane. Drive? Dinky Drive Lane. Oh. oh, I think Todd had asked if we could make it Dinky Lane. Is that somebody's nickname? I'm not going to ask. <laughs> what do you have on it, Dan? Uh, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Motion regarding it. Make a motion to approve it. Do I have a second? Right. Is there any further discussion on it? So, is this for both Anderson and Dinky? No, I'm just saying. I'm going to abstain from this because I'm involved. Okay. All in favor say aye. Can you explain Dinky? Can you explain Pardon me? Yeah, it's the uh, previous owner of the land's daughter's nickname. Oh, okay. For what that's worth. All right. Well, at least it's something. Yeah. I it had to be something there. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is passed. Are you doing that as a driver or easy lane? Should be Lane, yeah. Dinky Lane. Number three, discuss hiring Nancy Merrill to replace Darlene Creighton, temporary part time. We have on that, Dan. It's just it's sad to do the, the email kind of lays it out a little bit. Um, it's, it's consistent with what we've seen Nancy previously. So mm -hmm. she's got all the experience necessary to do for her family. Are you done, 
that. So on MC, we for both for close to five years. We do a job. We're going to step up right now. We're going to step up every day. Okay. I'll make a motion we approve it. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? That's at the $18.52 per hour rate, right? That's the name. Yeah, it's no more than 20 hours a week from $18.52 per hour. Was that in your motion? Yes. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Noise ordinance. Yeah, that would be us. Awesome. Rob, go ahead. We're having a uh, birthday party for him and his son, Joe's son, and somebody turns 25 years old at the same time, and we're going to have a man, and we're also going to take names and follow proper practices. We're also, um, we have a taxi service, and we're going to collect uh, donations for the World Food Shelf. And what we're after is we're going to have a band, and we'd like to be able to have a band play until later. Yeah. That's all we're after. Yeah. Jason, have you looked at that? I don't know where we're going to be. Fishing game. Fishing game. Fishing game. Fishing game. You have any thoughts on that? Where is that, Bob? Fishing game club. Lamoille. No, also the neighbors. Okay. One of the Closer neighbors to the fishing game come anyway. Yeah, we won't hold out again. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Garfield Road, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Jason? Are you talking to any neighbors up there? Get this one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it being an issue. Uh, yeah. It'd be nice to reach out, uh, join any neighbors if you can. We will. We will do that. What's the data? This coming Saturday. I mean, they have, now, as it is now, they have they have weddings and receptions and stuff up there now. I got married up there. And, uh, can be loud sometimes. But. Okay. I wouldn't want to avoid Right. Do you ever respond to many calls up there, Jason? Every now and then for, that. for a wedding, but I'd say one to two for up there right now. Okay. Do I hear a motion regarding it? Make a motion we allow it. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Uh, what are the hours? Do you know the hours, Rob? The band's going to play from 8 to 12. They'll be done at 12. So we start, you know, we're going to have a pay road for stuff in the afternoon. Our employees nice. are invited. Are we invited? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody here? <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> you are too, John. <laughs> Judy, you hear that? Did you hear that, Judy? No, what was that? Eight to midnight, the band is playing. Oh, yes, I did hear that. Thank you. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to make you wait on it. Oh. Appreciate what you guys do over here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Number five, discuss the sidewalks and roads at Pope Meadow. Um, Nick is actually he's the position of the board to uh, consider taking it over to Reddit's Pope Meadow and the sidewalks and staff roads. Um, as I explained to him earlier, you know, there's an addition, there's no action that we take in the It's really the start of the process. Um, so, we're going to the board, you know, and, and we'll get it. We'll see. That will be on site here. As everybody knows, it's involved in it's a very, very lengthy process. It takes about two, three months to get through the whole process. So it's just not um, something that we do. Right. Not overnight. Right. Due process. Yeah, I, you know, I, I took over the development at Old Meadows in Scotland until about two years ago. Um, we're nearing completion. Um, there's you know, 40 residential units in there now that is contributing quite a bit to the tax base of the town. Um, it, I meant to clock it today, it never got to it. I would say it's a little around a half a mile loop road, so it's not a ton, and there's an outside sidewalk. Um, the sidewalk is at the end of the village sidewalk on Route 12. We get a lot of people that come up that sidewalk, do a number of laps around our track, and then get back on the sidewalk. 
um, which is great. We, you know, we, we have no problem with the visitors, but when it starts to become our liability of, of maintaining that and plowing it and, you know, and then it's being used by, by others in the community, you know, we'd like to see that moved over to the town and it's our position in a nutshell. Kevin, you have any comments on that? I don't. I haven't been up to take a look at it. Yeah. Um, what will? What can see? You know, it's built to specs for it. It was built to specs. It's a, yeah, it's a 24 foot wide road. It has a nice crown on it. Um, it's been base coated. We'll be putting, we're hoping to be complete by September and top coating late September and October. So it'll be, it'll be done. It has adequate drainage. Um, there's some spots around it that are common space that um, could be snow dump areas, you know, it's where we're kind of pushing the snow already and there's, you know, adequate manholes around that to, to you know, take the snow melt out of there in a safe way. And, um, yeah, that's always one of the big considerations is where we're going to put the snow. Yeah. You know, and trucks turn around and it's not an issue so much because it's a circle, but. Yeah. Where does the stormwater drain off into? Is it in the town system or no? No, we have a private pond in the back. Um, yeah. Our guided unit. Yeah. We're toward the grease field side of the pond. Yeah, it's actually it's actually an easement by the by the grease that, that has the pond. The soils are so sandy in there. I have never seen a drop of water make it to the pond, but it's been clipped. We we got the, the there. Is there isn't there a connector sidewalk from the village now that goes to it? Yes. Yeah, so there's okay. a crosswalk where it ends, a small okay. maybe 15 to 20 foot, kind of 15 foot on the right hand side. Where the Pope Farmhouse was, yeah. yeah. And then it goes in, and then it goes in from there, it goes all the way around. The yeah. Some people use the sidewalk. The sidewalk just got completed this spring. Some people are using the sidewalk. A lot of people, you know, just use the road. They run on the side of the road. I don't know why mm -hmm. does that um, We've been we've been maintaining it over the last few winters with my skid steer, but as I get done with construction there, that piece of equipment wouldn't be there. So for us to bring in a piece of equipment to do those sidewalks, um, you know, on a store a per store basis when your guys town thing is right there, yeah. it just seems like we can do that together. But, you just have the middle ones you're doing now, the rest of yeah, them are done pretty much, huh? Yeah, you know, it just frames the one of the ones in the middle, we have two more, and when those are complete, we're yeah, uh, great. Extent of our construction. Well, like Dan says, it just starts the process. We'll have to have a site walk and can schedule that. You guys, have any comments? I'm just still, still done with my concern because I, I haven't driven down the internet, but it just looks like units are on top of each other. So I'm glad to hear that you have a place so it's not going to be plowed into. Well, I'm Kevin will be able to put that on you. Yeah, but I use that. I can walk around there with my dogs and yeah, I got friends and talk to them. Yeah, we love that. I mean, I, I can't speak, you know, there's other people from that are living there. We're happy with that, I think. If you guys agree with that, we're not looking to cut that off, but, yeah. you know, just to, to you know, be, be equitable about the cost of maintaining it and not burden out with others from the community using it and the liability if, you know, someone slips on that sidewalk because we don't want yeah I just want to say I think it's a nice project it looks really good you guys have done a good job Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. go I ahead I just like that that was anticipated when that project was permitted right it would be taken over by the town and because the developer had to build a sidewalk down Elmore Street to connect with the existing sidewalk so. I remember Todd talking about that yeah. in the previous meeting yeah, that was before my time, but that's what right. Scott had given right. to me when I, when I went into it. So. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, out. thanks for your time. We'll today. get with Dan and figure out a timeline. To yeah, we'll set up a timeline. Just everybody knows we have to give you know, 30 days to install annoying landowners, and then there will be an hour. Then there's the on site hearing for the select board to inspect the road and take public comment. And then they can't make a decision at that meeting. Can only make a decision at the next does select board. Does the yeah. top code have to be down before we schedule that meeting? Because that won't be until September, or can we do that? Do that as you understanding that we would do the top. Exactly. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. 
And then the, the other thing I think that really slows the, the process down the most is the deeds and land transfers to the town. Down, sure. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know how to, to, if it's just a parcel by itself. It is. Well, the common area is all. It's all. Right. Yeah, it's all on some. Because I suppose it's down sometimes. Sometimes it's, you know because people have to actually go back to the mortgage companies to get a release if, if it's a right away across their land. So that's the things that can slow it down sometimes. My Not that we won't maintain it. Yeah. But it's still on your name though right now, isn't it? Um. Well, the individual lots that have been sold are not, but I, I think the area that is the loop road and the sidewalk is in one common piece that is still in the development you know, pre preview before the turnover meeting. So we haven't we haven't turned it over to the association at large. Yeah. So that would make it a lot easier, but that's usually some of the things that are yeah I, I need my I need a lawyer to look at that sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. But and I'm, we'll have Kevin take a look at it too so he's yeah. I'm pretty sure that the property corners all go to the edge of the right away. There's a 50 foot right away all the way. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. The plots are all laid out to the edge of the right away, not to the center of the road. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Next, number six. Hearthstone sewer line transfer. <laughs> Seen that before. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and I thought it was already turned out. I did too. I thought it was. Um, you know, Craig got the visa before he went in, you know, in March. And I, I guess they don't have any record of it. And I know we did. It's in the town's interest to get this line over the other time. But if you don't have the stuff to maintain it, you know, they take care of it and then blockages or whatever. And you know, that was the intent all along. Yeah. I think the only going through this, um, this sort of understand, I don't know that we can grant them the 30 foot wide easement that they're requesting. I mean, it's the majority of it is in the town right away, but it's on the edge of the right away. So I don't know that we can give an easement to, to land that we don't own. So I'll ask Penny to take a look at that and that change. But other than that, this is something that I thought was done a long time ago. So, um, but according to the bill, the water and department was it's one of those things that should belong to the building as far as I remember that was the intent when we built the plan was to turn it over to the water department. Yeah. I know it was. I thought we did it. <laughs> All right, what do we have to do? Anything? No. I make a motion um, to approve this with the exception of paragraph number five. Let me get that rectified before I make a motion. Okay. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number seven, review and approve bid for sale of fire truck. Who say Danny? The bid for the sale of the fire truck. It is. Jim Grover doesn't want it. Jim's the one putting on it. Is he? <laughs> he buys the fire truck. Oh yeah. Okay. Had a few show interest, but nobody ever really invested in bid for a team since our era. Yeah. He's going to start a fire truck museum for more so, I think. Do I hear a motion regarding this? Make a motion, we allow it. That's the bid. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. Number eight, review and approve paving bids. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I got it. I was looking at him. Have you looked at these, Gary? I uh, looked at them before the meeting. Really good prices. Question about that. Yeah. I haven't had a chance. I think uh, Kevin said that the tons are a little different. About the tonnage, yeah. Not a lot, no. No, there's no. Nothing earth shattering. No. But it's a pretty good difference in price. Yeah. Based on that. <coughs> and these look like they're pretty much apple to apple. How much do we have to spend? We have $270,000. Yeah, just so everybody knows, with, with asphalt, you, know, you don't know. It's, it's not an exact science when you're out there playing asphalt to get mm -hmm. exactly to the, the time and center kind of fit. Um, so we would be a little over, a little under. Um, and uh, the, the, the two closest bids are both very good companies. Yeah. Both done uh, exceptional work for us before when they when they got. They just this last. Hutchins just did the one in the village here. Up that more street. I make a motion to accept Hutchins bid for David. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? That's where the extra money is coming from. It's fifteen thousand dollars. I talk to you to have to come out of the unvaccinated reserves and see how we come out. What's the area again? Is it the Northgate Plaza, Harold Street, is that? Northgate Plaza, Munson Avenue, and Harold Street, and Morristown Corner as well. Yeah. Is it just a portion of Morristown Corner? Well, the whole thing. No, so I'm questioning whether or not it's the state road, road section or the section from the corner store down to Miller Bridge. Yeah, you had Mac Miller Bridge. That's what I thought. That's like the road down to Mac Miller Bridge. Yeah. And that is really rough. But not all the way down to the hundred It stops before the bridge, yes. Right at the Y there, right? Correct. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Starts at Miller Bridge up to Black Diamond Bar. <laughs> not all the way down to Stage Park. Right. Not, the not beside the river. No, not the Stage Park Road section. Okay. Well, that was recommended this year. Right. We need to keep that on the front burner. Yeah, you can do that next year. That's why I, I had a conversation with Eric a little bit, and we said, well, maybe we could compromise and do uh, Northgate and Munson, not do Harold, do part of Stagecoach, because I know we need that too, but maybe we do these all. You know, the way it is this year and next year, we go up to stage coach. What I like to do is work with Kevin and Dan and yeah. identify those paved roads in town. So I've already mentioned Garfield Road. Yeah. That's a, a huge restructure, rebuild, fix pavement road. It's going to take a lot of money to do that. So I, I'd like to sit with the guys and just Kevin needs lead time. Anytime we choose a road, and boy, this road's really falling apart. You've got time to do the ditch work, the culverts, you need to replace all that stuff. So we can't just. Picking the spring, and that's supposed to do this. We need to give those guys some time to get that work done. So maybe we could set our paving up on a two or three year location where it's just scheduled. You know, so that's what we have something to look for. They have a plan that they can do, and, uh, and we have kind of pick and choose. Capital paving plan. All right, any further discussion? Is this a company that we've had good luck with? Yes, they just did the last paving in the village and up Elmore Street and Park Street this last last season. 
down around by the. They, they did our paving um, last summer. They, they got our contract. Plus, there was a company that uh, did all the paving of the class one highways for the state last year. Yeah. The only comment is I know there's a you know there's manholes all all the way up Belmore Street. And it seemed like the risers could have been a little taller, so it wasn't such a a dip in each one. I'd go around them. You know, but Jason hasn't pulled me over because I go around the manholes going up Elmore Street. But, and then there's a really bad one at the top of uh, Hutchins Street. You know, that's a super deep dip right there by the VFW. And then I'll talk to folks offline too about. The, the storm drains on spells uh, that aren't a traffic hazard, but this last rainstorm all down Maple Street and Congress Street, and the water's flowing right by the not The water's not even down. Yeah. You might have to see a design issue, you've got to fix it before we start here. Yeah. All right, all in favor say aye. All right. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, sale of Vermont peanut butter equipment. Add that here. Do I hear a motion regarding those? Is Check. that in our packet? Or yeah, three wooden desks with no drawers, three glass desks with no drawers, one carpet shampooer. And two two drawer file cabinets, total of two hundred five dollars. I'll make a motion we approve it. Right. Any further discussion? Is there anything else left? There's probably a little bit left. I'll see if I can't get out through this last real quick, but I can't I'm say. Heaven, heaven, give us a bid. Take it. Take it off. off. Throw it, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, can I have it for two hundred? <laughs> takes everything. Two hundred. Take it off. Yeah. yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. All right, old business. Review and approve contract for Mud City Loop culvert installation. So I guess I'll just start this off. We have how many bids? Five, six? Uh, five. Five yeah. bids. Yeah. Five bids. Um, all good apples, apples bids. I think. Uh, Gary that's what I said. I would just 
sorry, I guess it's not. Yeah, I'm just a little picky on it just because it is. Right. It could potentially be eligible for for payment reimbursement. Right. And I don't want to see a trip that's over something. Yeah, we don't know how much or when or whatever, but it couldn't. We're eligible. I don't. I don't want an administrator. So I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on it? And the motion also authorizes the side. Yeah. The other thing was the timeline. You know, because I know the difference. Yeah, I've been working with Tyler on that one right now. The culvert will be completed right for every mid to third week in July. Right. The first week um, ready to start construction on it, schedule wise, around um, the first week in August. So, you know, timing wise, it's definitely foreshadowing better than that. And something could always throw that off just a little bit, but I think our drop dead date was to have it done by the end of October. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at it probably three weeks for an installation of this. So right. we're, we're, we're way ahead of any type of you know, construction schedule that we really have. Today. We'll have to call Lee LeBeer. He's going to want to know. Until yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. Discuss. Thank you. Thank you. you do the yeah. Work yeah, that was good. Well, Tyler did the bulk of it. Yeah. We, yeah. we looked it over pretty well. I think that works out pretty well to have have a couple of us, you know, yep. helping those decisions. Be right there. All right, next. Discuss Oxbow music series. Trisha, Hi, Hi, come right up here. Uh, Just speak loud. Okay.
you know, our local Facebook public, we can put it out there, right. be clear. The doctors say we keep up, sorry, don't don't power the messenger. Just, that's all we can allow for our Right. You're gonna have a clicker. River, yeah, do whatever you need to do. But I I feel like, you know, if we're adamant about this and we if we're careful about it, I think it's worth it. Do we have any comments, Brian? No, I think it's a good thing. I think people need to get out. They don't start getting people out. People are crying to me about this. Uh, it, it, I mean, I heard, I, I heard about the fireworks, but I, at the same time, I thought about it. Too bad we didn't know earlier, because fireworks, I think people could then back away. But this year, if we control it, try to see how it goes, we can stop it if all of a sudden we see it's getting out of hand. So, so can I add that I'd like to have the fireworks in my festival in September? We'll get so back to you. Yeah, I'm not going to add that part in yet. Come back to us. Judy, what do you think? Could you take, give me a brief synopsis? It was hard to um, under, you know, get all the details. Yeah, Trisha's talking about doing a small abbreviated music series. Down at the Oxbow, how, how many are? Five or six. Five or six uh, Wednesday nights with um, up to 150 people in attendance. Social distancing down there. Okay, and I would, yeah, I kind of, I kind of think that we uh, talk about the masks that they have to have the masks on when they get seated. Maybe they can take it off, but. Around. Yeah, we can re give recommend recommendations for all those protocols. Right. We can do that. Say? Trisha said she can say uh, we can say if you, if you want to come in, you have a mask, and if you don't have one, we'll give you one. I can bring a, a few cases okay. to concert to and donate them. That sounds good to me. I'd like to thank two of our citizen rating and the low point. We've got to have some faith in our own citizens. Right. That if they are part of that vulnerable crowd, that they can participate. I, for one, will not be going to the music series, as much as I hate to say it, I love it. But it's just not, it's not wise for me to do that. And I think the vast majority of our public are wise enough to make that determination themselves. Right. So as long as we're providing the ability to wear the mask down there, then I, I, I don't see it yet. So. Yeah. What are you thinking? Being that it's an extension of town property, are we making that a mandatory mask wear or is that a resolution of the encourage? Could we, could we say on everything we are going to be Exactly. Honestly, if they, I did too, and I feel like this is good, if people 
work. Right. Uh, <coughs> he's like telling me right now, I will follow Paul right to it. Get, you know, get a door clicker so you can count people. I have a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So pass. Resolution for a communications district. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You're up. The communications district. Okay, yes. Um, I think it's in your packet. There are a number of towns that are forming a communication union district in Lamoille County to bring, uh, expand broadband in, make it higher speeds and more accessible, more affordable. Um, the resolution that you have in your packet is the same one that the other towns have been passing. Um, we're asking that Morrisville join Lamoille FiberNet CUD, Communication Union District, and as we discussed the last meeting, there's no liability to the town, et cetera. It's a separate entity once it's formed. Um, I'm Jane Campbell. I'm willing to be named as the representative for Morristown, and we have two people that have agreed to also be appointed as alternates. One is Carl Fortune, Jr., and the other is John Meyer. Um, they were going to try and make this call. I don't know if they're here or not. Um, but that's it in a nutshell. That sounds good, James. Who, who's the other towns that are involved that have already signed up? You know, a bunch of towns. I know that um, Hyde Park has already passed it. Leah, are you on the phone? No. Okay. Johnson is. Our clerk meeting a couple weeks ago, and it sounded like a small town around the Lamar County were in the process. There, yeah, there are five towns, and I don't know which select boards have have met already or not. That's that's my problem. But it's it's been um, Johnson, Hyde Park, Morristown, Wolcott, and Belvedere were involved. Um, I think that Wolcott ended up going with a different CUD. Um, yeah. And this isn't the final list of towns by any means. You know, these are going to be the first towns, and other towns can join the Lamoille Fiber. Fiberred at CUD, even if they aren't one of these first towns. One of the reasons we want to go ahead and get the group formalized is that there are funding opportunities that are uh, opening up now. Um, so we want to be able to formalize and tap into some of those, hopefully. Great. Ma last I knew, Stowe and Morrisville were the only ones who work in a community uh, commun uh, communication. communication union district. Um, Stowe has not. Um, there, I contacted some folks in Stowe, and they're they're just scrambling to get their businesses uh, reopened right now. But they are going to be looking at it. Um, you may be right. You know, not everybody, as I said, not every select board has formalized it yet, but it's on their agendas, like in in this week and next week. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to make a motion? We already did. Do we need to make a motion? Yes. yes. Make a motion that we join the what is it called? Lamoille Community. Lamoille FiberNet Communication Union District. Yes. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> second. 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 Yeah. And can you name the three, the representative and the two alternates? Carl Fortune and John Miner. Yep, Carl Fortune Jr. Care. Yep. It, it's. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just a minor detail, but I'm actually the third, so I don't want to get me mixed oh. up with my dad. I Carl, that sorry was, about I that. that. <laughs> it's okay. You can just leave it off. It's probably uh, fine. I didn't dare to say I wasn't positive, but I thought it was the third. Yeah. 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 Thanks. All, right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thanks for your help. Well, thank you. Thanks for putting this on your your already packed agenda. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, thanks for sticking with us. All Have right. a good evening. You too, Jane. Thank you. Next, number four, discuss resolution for face masks. I asked uh, Dan to put this on the uh, agenda. 
agenda so we can just have a discussion about it, given that we had an inquiry from the community. Right. And um, I find it interesting that after the protests throughout the country, um, the rate of COVID um, infections did not increase significantly. And the, the experts are attributing it to the wearing of face masks. And I know people around here have been pretty um, doing a good job of wearing face masks, but still when I've gone into the grocery store, there's still several people who don't. And um, it's disconcerting somewhat that they aren't courteous enough to wear the face masks. And um, I did contact Stowe to find out uh, their select board did pass a resolution, and I believe I passed that on to everyone. But we may want to think about it that it's we're not mandating per se, but we are strongly suggesting. And um, again, there would be no um, uh, disciplinary to, to enforce it. That would, right. and I liked their resolution how they stated it. I don't have it in front of me, but I can find it. I like the way that sounds a lot better. I would not want to do it mandatory. I've, I've talked to a lot of folks that are now boycotting restaurants and stove because of that. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to see that happen to more so. I think people like Eric said, if people are pretty responsible and they know how to social distance and I'm, I'm not wearing a mask right now at the meeting, but I wear a mask outside when you're in groups of people that you're not familiar with or or whatever, I think we're, we're doing the right thing. What do you guys think? Well, I think we just ought to leave it alone. I think there's enough um, for the governor's thing and all this, but let that I mean, I'll tell you right now where I work, there's this is going on the stove, there's one thing on the wall, the stove did this, and it's still coming in. So let them do because we again, we're not going to enforce it. Right. How do you enforce it? Right? I just think that most people, in fact, when I go into the store, I'll put my mask on when I go in. Me too. Because I went to a store the other day, it said mask required. I walked in there, there was eight people in there, one, one of them had a mask on. Yeah. People working there didn't have them on. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, That's it's a good thing, but I just don't want to see us mandate that. Let the governor and the, yeah. Let's go with that. That's my opinion. I agree. I appreciate you bringing it up there, Judy, because I, I think we're doing the right thing as a state and our town and everything. It shows because we don't have, you know, a lot of it, a lot of COVID here, but we certainly could if we're not prepared or don't stay prudent. What are your thoughts, Jason, on the whole thing and the stuff? I mean, you're you're at a higher risk. You see so many people, and what are your thoughts about it? No, we're we're wearing any time we're outside the office or dealing with public or traffic stop or anything like that. So we're in masks. And we're, for example, we're, we do a traffic stop. A lot of times, people are putting their masks on as we walk up to the car. We're seeing, I'm seeing the majority of people wearing masks. Right, even without a mandate. Yeah. Right. That's that's what I was thinking, but I just wanted to get the pulse of what everyone else saw. And sometimes I think you tell somebody you mandate it, it kind of right. might fail. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. That's well, another way to look at some, yeah. some people. I mean, it, you can't control everybody because they're not going to all do what you want to. Exactly. Well, I think the, the one person that's wrote to us, to the group, was talking about mandating that businesses require. Right. That was the wording in there, and I right. easily disagree with that. I don't think we have any business telling our businesses how things should function inside their stores. Yeah. Uh, and, and as far as the resolution goes, resolutions, and they're, they're, they're feel good to a certain extent. They don't have any enforcement behind it. Yeah. Well, I don't care if we have one or not. I, it, to me, it doesn't matter, one way or the other. Um, we decide to go with it, I vote for it, but if not, I think it stands as Mm -hmm. A lot of it's individual choice, and I think Vermont's shown pretty well by our by our numbers as a whole that we've taken it pretty serious. Yeah. Gary, what do you think? I agree with Eric. I don't, I mean, everybody else. I don't I don't think we should mandate it. No, I don't I don't think it's our place to mandate. It's up to the businesses and yeah. If they want to do it, fine, but 
Mm -hmm. Like Brian said, you go into some of the stores, 99% of the people are going to another store and not. 1% were, you right. know, so. Uh, what do you think, Bill? Do you have any comments uh, on it? Uh, I, speaking personal, it's a public safety issue. I wear one to protect people like her, Brian, who's got a pre-existing condition that puts him in the Um To me, it's a public safety issue that is akin to you wear a helmet on your bike, you wear a seatbelt in your car, you put your kid in the car seat. Um, the, we're fortunate, uh, our last numbers from the state from Morristown, we had seven. We've had seven since the beginning of the track. Right. Seven confirmed cases, none of which were hospitalized, all were treated at home. Um, the other good, the other good side of that is 37 states are going up. Vermont is showing the largest drop in the last two weeks, the last 14 days. Um, but, uh, to me personally, it's, it's uh, a public safety issue to me at the level of seatbelt telling from persons. Right. Um, take that for, for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, not sound to mandate it, but the our select board is is uh, encouraging our businesses to require it to enter in. And um, I just feel it's coming out to support that effort. I was, I was recently in, in Maine, and I think it's mandated in Maine. But that's for the state down, it isn't the, the community. It's un, you know, it's unfortunate that we're, every state's having to do its own thing, but uh, uh, I strongly support what Bill is saying. Okay. Thank you. You guys want to put it to vote? Or you want to do a motion? Or what do you feel? Well, isn't the governor's thing mandating to open up the businesses? If they had to have certain things, and one of them was certain having... safety protocols. Yeah. Okay, so it's already there. Yeah. My... Well, well the one, th one thing I want to talk, want to mention is just that it's summer and we're getting a lot more visitors. And we just have to be aware of that. I was, I, I am quarantining at home because someone from New York State was in my company and had tested positive and didn't follow protocol. And Good for you. had they followed protocol, I wouldn't be sitting at home. So That's good. people are not following protocol as they're being asked to do. Hmm. What do you, what's your pleasure, you guys? You want to do? We don't have much uh, traction to, to do any kind of requirement due to your resolution. With, with us four, are you comfortable with that? Or are you? Well, I, I wanted to bring it to the table and have a discussion about it. And, and we're, I think we've started it. We may get more um, pushback or input from the community. I don't know. But at least we've had the discussion. Right. No, I respect that. I respect those uh, comments. We'll, uh, we'll keep, a, keep an eye on what's going on and, you know, it's like what Bill said, if uh, the rates weren't going down, if they were going up, I'd say, yeah, maybe we should make the next step mandatory but, or a resolution requiring it. But maybe we can ask Bill to keep us informed because he would be first line to yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. In our community. Would you be willing to do that, Bill? Yeah. You do anyway. Appreciate that. And, and one of the things that we've known for years is when CDC or DOH, when they get, when they start looking surveillance-wise, EMS is one of the first things they look at. Where is there a cluster of EMS calls uh, within the community? Uh, so we're, we're usually, uh, for lack of a better term, we're usually in an area. Right. Well, that's why I wanted to, you know, ask Jason and ask you, uh, yeah. you know, your feeling, personal feelings of it. But I think we'll leave it alone. I, I do agree that mandatory is, is a strong word. It's a, it's a trigger word for many people, especially it is. now. It is. Uh, so, yeah. What do you think, Danny? You sitting, sitting back there with 
Something going around in your head up there. Sitting back with his mask on. Yeah, I can see it. I could almost hear it. Oh yeah. I can. I can see it in your eyes. I got my own opinion about it. I got my opinion about the past end. When you go, when you're showing any kind of symptoms with these test lights, you have to refer to your doctor because they won't do it. Right. They they can give you whatever analogy they want and all. You die at the hospital. It says COVID. Anytime soon, either. I don't think. But that word mandatory, you're right. And you really want to be a slight board, no one I leave, but the ones who want to micromanage your down. It wouldn't help. I thought that's what I was reading on your face. Just wanted to ask anyway. So you had to ask. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like to hear Denny's opinion. Well, he, he, was kind of, he was kind of uh easy He was quiet him. back there. Yeah. And he didn't say what he was thinking. I mean, no, he still, he candy coated it a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. Thanks, Judy, for bringing it up. You're welcome. Next, approve the warrant. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. TA report. Dan. And a couple things. We're getting ready to start construction on the hospital bathroom. Um, so we've got that laid out and we asked for the whole scheduling thing that we've talked about, but we're doing a lot of the prep work and site work, so Kevin's getting ready to start that. I just want to remind everybody, there's a tree in the bathroom that's going to be behind the tree. It actually still is. We've got to cut some, some of the lower branches from that tree on the back side. And we're going to move the lilac bushes. Everybody agrees that we can move the lilac bushes down there. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. We're going to start that soon. Kevin's going to be down there. Um, it's the original plan that we went through. We're not cutting down the tree, but we've got to take some of the background of this off if we do it. That way, if you get phone calls, you know what's going on. So, um, you know, and finally, you know, after we wanted to start in May, we got pushed back, but now we're really you know, ready to go on this thing. And so, I wanted to remind the board of that. The other thing, too, is, you know, I know Tyler is doing his plan out best. We haven't heard anything back yet from the Act 250 Commission on, you know, we had three hearings um, in April 16th, and we haven't heard zero back from them. I just emailed them at least four or five times, you know, what's the result of the, the three hearing, you know, what's our next steps, and we have received absolutely no response from them. So I just want to give you guys on the list. You know, we, we've talked a lot about the Act 250 process understanding how that impacts the businesses in town and then now it's kind of your turn to understand that a little bit. We haven't heard anything at all since that pre-hearing adjourned. And even though we've asked, we still haven't heard Pete, not any response to an email. So I just want to keep you up on that so you can understand you know, that the, and honestly so I ought to be trying to move this forward as you know, best we can for select boys working for you guys. So it's frustrating to him and I think it's frustrating for a lot of people. And we have to deal with that to ask questions and you don't hear anything, no reply. So just keep you on the good side. Every successfully run business ignores its uh, its customer. Um, so that was facetious completely. We are a consumer. The state of Vermont is the business, and we've not even been having an acknowledgement, but our emails are being received is I hate to say typical, but it's been a pretty much standard practice. Uh, I don't know what the next step is. I, I don't want to get in a pissing contest at the at the 50 commission level, but the taxpayers here have a lot of money on the line, on the line here because we're not going to have enough sand in our gravel pit next spring to create sand for the 21-22 season. And if we don't get this thing moving, 
I don't understand why there's not even an acknowledgement of that or any, any sort of a schedule. You know, and, and, and realistically, you know, if, if there's something they need from us, we want to make sure that we have the ability to, to respond to that and give them what they need in a timely manner. That's tough to do when you don't know what they need. Well, I'm assuming there isn't, because you'd think they would. I, I think that's a dangerous assumption. Yeah. You know, but you know, it's just a dangerous assumption. And once again, we're more willing to provide any documentation or, or do anything that we need to do. I think we always have that. I think we. The, you saw the application it was very thorough. You know, we put as much information as we can in. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think it's you know we a lot of people don't understand the active business process until they go for it. You know, and uh, it, it gets a, a lot of discussion in the state of Vermont. But unfortunately, sometimes I find this to be very typical of how it works. Unfortunately, is there somebody else we can contact at the state level that can uh, you know explain? What's going on, or let them know. I'm talking about legislators to say, you know, we applied for this. We're how long ago? Have or anything? We'll start calling, calling direct. We'll yeah. Get somebody on the phone to find out what's going on. And, uh, I, you know, and that's one of the things. You know, you, 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 people talk about how frustrating it is to go through the process. And yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great example. Of mm -hmm. Okay. Didn't, didn't Tyler say that he had a conversation or that stormwater? Stormwater permit is, is approved. We, we it's good, through, right? Yeah, so that's done. Um, you know, we, we went through, I think, probably the public comment. Well, the public comment period last on that, so the permit's valid. Yeah, because I think we got a, didn't we get notice on that? Yes, we did. And we did there. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, you know, that piece of it's done. And that's an important piece, you know, the, the, the stormwater piece of it. Yeah, but um, it's huge. Yeah, but we haven't had anything, no response at all from, you know, What's the next steps after the pre-hearing conference? Uh, right. Hopefully, we hear something soon. Yeah. You know, I just want to let you know that you, it's not something that's set on and Tyler's doing his best to, to pump and they get something out. But I can't give you a direction on where it's going. And obviously, the state is out meeting people on site now. They're doing that. They did that with, with the stormwater. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're doing more and more of that. Um, what you can do in this particular case, it wouldn't be hard to keep social distancing and do animal fit to show them what's there and have. Maybe it's something 
it rains hard. When it rains hard, I don't care what you put in there. Just a suggestion. We're going to be grinding some of that cement. Be, be an excellent place to use some of the grinding. Maybe we could, you know, we could Probably already got some. Whatever you think would work. That's a good work. idea. Whatever you think would work, well. you can see when you go up and look at it. But it's something because I know they've you know, mm -hmm. talked and before. And we fell down on the spot, so we're going to miss that. We fell down, so we'll try to stop it. Okay. Me too. <laughs> okay. That's it. Eric. Okay. I'm all set. Also, do we have any other business? I'll let you know that um, August primary is going to be held at the VFW, the BCA event, and there were concerns that it wasn't big enough in here and that I wanted to have the so we're going to have it at the VFW. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, just one thing briefly uh, that I, I just thought of. I believe I sent it to you and Judy previously. You did. Uh, my predecessor, Nathan Pickard, yes. uh, he's on a uh, liver down mm -hmm. uh, uh, His wife is going to be a living donor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a GoFundMe page set up if anybody's curious uh, or wants, I can send you a link to the GoFundMe page. Uh, but because his wife is going to be the living donor, they're both going to be on there. Right. Uh, so they're looking for some. Thanks, Bill. And, and I would tell you that I've known Nate for years, so yeah. uh, I've got a connection to him before. Yeah. Here we He's your guy. Thank you. Hey, Bob. Yes. I totally forgot till Sarah mentioned it. When we were um, when we we're going to have the voting at Tegu, because Tegu's already saying we already have it uh, designated as mask, you have to have a mask on to enter. We don't know about that criteria for voting at the um, uh, BFW. Sarah, did you find out anything from um, Secretary Condos? No, I took today off. I'm, I'm on vacation today. She's not here. <laughs> I shouldn't be asking you questions then. No, um, I checked in with some clerks, and I think they're doing something with the wording similar to what I'm hearing pretty much in the room, not using the mandatory, but the uh, recommended. Recommended, um, and they're kind of like we discussed at the BCA. Um, if people come in without a mask, they're making them vote outside and do curbside right. voting. Or okay. offer a mask. Yeah, so, yeah, Sarah, is it up to the BCA to make that recommendation or that, the select board? That, oh, I would think the BCA, which the okay. select board is part of. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other business? Number one, employee relations, executive session. And I two. Have a motion that a premature general knowledge of real estate. Purchase or lease options in the place of town at a substantial disadvantage by disposing its negotiation strategy. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. The motion we had our executive session to discuss real estate purchase or lease options under the provision of Title I, Section 313A1 of the Ohio Statutes to include Dan Lundley and Tina Sweet. Paul McCall. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. And I make a third motion to go to executive session to discuss appointment and appointment of a public officer or employee or under the provisions of Title I, Section 313.383 of the Ohio Statute, discussing the contracts of the town administrator. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. We are now in executive session. <laughs>